Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Union Yoga. My name's Julia and happy summertime. Summer loving, it is summer. Anyways, um, this practice I'm gonna do for you today, it's a pranayama practice, which is a breath practice, and it's a cooling practice. It's something that we would do um, to cool our body temperature in the hot, hot sun after you've done an intense workout. Um, also, if you've gathered heat from um, anger, anxiety, or stress, any of that kind of uh, fire that's building up in your body, this is great to help uh, tap into the parasympathetic nervous system, that relaxation response to calm us down. It also can reduce fatigue among many, many other things, which I will include in the body of the, uh, the box in the bottom of the video. Okay, so the, there's two separate versions, two separate uh, cooling breaths we're going to do. One is Shitali Pranayam and one is Shitkari Pranayam. So the first one is Shitali Pranayam. And what you're gonna do, well first, let's just take a few moments to get comfortable, find a comfortable seated position. You could sit on your heels like so. You could sit cross-legged, your legs out wide. As long as you're comfortable, it doesn't matter uh, what position your feet are in or your legs are in. Okay, so take a moment to find comfort. However you're sitting, and just notice the sit bones resting into whatever support you're sitting on. You might be sitting on a blanket, a bolster, a chair, your heels. So take a few moments to let those sit bones settle, drop and sink. And then begin to invite the breath deep into the belly, so far low down into the body. So on an in-breath, feel the expansion of the abdomen, soft upper body, and then as you exhale, let the abdomen move towards the spine. Good, and then for the Shatali breath, the cooling breath, it's kind of like a little inner air conditioning system. Uh, you're gonna stick out the tongue and curl the tongue kind of like a hot dog bun, like so. And there's about 25% of the population or people that actually can't curl their tongue. So if you're one of them, just let the tongue lie flat on the bottom lip. Okay, so what you're gonna do on an in-breath you're going to suck the air, drink the cool air through the tunnel of the tongue or on the flat part of the tongue. And then you're going to bring the tongue into the mouth. You're going to pause the breath a little bit. Enjoy uh, that cooling sensation. you see if you can um, sense any cooling inside the mouth as you bring the tongue in without exhaling. You're just gonna close the lips and just pause the breath for one second or two. And then you're gonna exhale through the nose. Good. And then trying it again. So curling the tongue, stick the tongue out, curl the tongue. Almost like you're drinking through a straw, drinking that nice, fresh, cool air. Bring the tongue back in. See if you can notice any cooling sensation. And then exhaling through the nose with the lips closed, softly closed. Good, so that's one version. Then the other version, same thing, uh, same, um, action here or same technique is sticking the tongue out flat tongue and same thing breathe in through the top of the tongue draw the tongue in close the mouth 
circle for a second or two. And then exhale through the nostrils. So there's a third uh, version we can do. It's called Shithkari Pranayam. Um, and this can be sensitive for the teeth. So if you have sensitive teeth, it might not be uh, the version for you, but it is also a cooling breath um, similar to Shatali. Okay, so what you're gonna do is bring your top teeth, bottom, bottom teeth together, kind of smile, and you're gonna inhale through the teeth and um, also making a bit of a hissing sound as you, as you suck in the air, yeah? So it's something like this. Same thing on, uh, before you exhale, you're gonna close the lips. Take in that cooling sensation and then exhale through the nose. Good. So let's take um, a few moments. So pick which uh, version suits you and let's take uh, a few of those breaths and see if we notice. Notice a change in our temperature, if, it, if you're warm or in your um, state of being, okay? So on your own time, Good, and when you're satisfied with the breathing technique, just take a few moments to come back to just a simple breathing into the belly. Inhale, expand the belly, the abdomen, exhale, release. Just take note of how you're feeling in terms of perhaps body temperature. State of being. If you feel a wash of calm and ease pouring over you. And there you have it. So I'm in the park at the moment. Many people around walking their dogs, playing with their kids, having a great time. So um, it's nice to put yourself in an environment sometimes where there's hubbub um, and to just practice stillness and uh, calming yourself because sometimes we can be in uh, chaotic situations and we don't know what to do. So taking the time to practice in, in an environment that that there's a lot going on uh, can help us tap into perhaps this technique wherever we are in the middle of chaos, in the middle of a panic attack, uh, overheated, being overheated uh, from the hot sun. Uh, so that this can help reduce that heat. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this practice. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel, comment and ask questions. 
And also stay tuned for next week. We're going to work on um, a pose called bridge pose to find the lovely ripple through the spine to introduce us to some uh, back bending. It's a great way to prep us for back bending uh, so that we can open ourselves up and gather all the beautiful energy for the summertime. Okie dokie. So yogis, continue exploring your body, your breath, your movement, and we'll see you on the mat very soon. Think love, speak love, be love. Namaste. Thank you.